Hey guys, Zoeb here from OneGlanceTrader.com and welcome back to my Baby Pips Forex Education video series. So we are in the elementary school still looking at grade three, which is uh, Fibonacci. And um, for those of you just tuning in and want to go back and check out all of the elementary sections so far, so that's grade one, support and resistance, grade two, which is Japanese candlesticks, go ahead and click the link in the top right hand corner or in the description to check out the full playlist for all of those educational videos. Now, Fibonacci is, is another one of those uh, technical analysis tools that are available on the, uh, well, most platforms, but for those of you who follow me, know that I like to use uh, MT4. Um, so it's available on that platform. And in this grade or in this section, it goes into the basics of Fibonacci trading, uh, how to enter on retracements and all of this good stuff in here. There's quite a lot of um, areas to go into here. So I, as for those of you who are just tuning in and want to understand a bit more about how I do these videos, I will go source or watch hundreds and thousands of YouTube videos on trading and on these particular areas. And what I've done is kind of taken the best bits of certain videos, mash them together to give you a very concise view of how to consume the content of each one of these grades. So again, a lot of people like to read um, in terms of this, but for me, I'm more of a visual kind of um, uh, learner so uh, I like to watch videos on, on each one of these sections and this is what this is designed to do is kind of take you through the kind of logic and agenda set out by baby pips and then providing you with a video for each one of these sections so if we go into the Fibonacci trading which I've got already got open on the tab and this one is very basic tells you all about the Fibonacci numbers where they came from you know what the retracement retracement levels and what the extension levels are and just really goes into you know what a swing high and swing low and really how to measure or draw a uh, Fibonacci extension or retracement so I think the video I've chosen for this is from trading 212 as part of the education series that they do on their own YouTube channel and all the links to that video and trading 212's channel is linked below because I've got to give credit where credit's due um, and also to baby pips as well so you know if you actually want to go read this article uh, I'll link to that inside the description as well so again you know check out this video and then i'll be drip feeding across all the other videos as well and hopefully by the time you're reading this all of these videos will already be available to you to go consume so i really hope uh, you enjoy this video by trading 212 and i shall see you in a second to apply fibonacci retracement levels to your chart you need to identify the swing high and the swing low points of a trend a swing high is identified as the highest point displayed on a given time period a swing low is created when a low is lower than any other point over a given time period. Using the Fibonacci retracement tool in the trading platform, you draw a line between the swing low and the swing high. The horizontal lines that occur are the Fibonacci retracement levels which are automatically calculated by the trading platform. The most popular Fibonacci retracement levels are the 38.2%, 50% and 61.8%. In the Trading212 Pro platform, you have a Fibonacci retracement tool. It places support and resistance levels on your chart based on the Fibonacci numbers. There are many theories, mathematical equations and strategies out there that try to make sense of a market that is largely speculative. However, it is widely accepted among traders that rely on technical analysis that most major moves will retrace around the Fibonacci levels and more specifically around the 50% level of the move. 